one of the evolutions of law enforcement is the way we deal with people in crisis. We receive extensive training, and this will help us de-escalate the situation and bring it to a safe resolution with less injury to the suspect and to the officer. Got a call the Code 5 mail, ETA about 30 seconds. Don't have much information other than uh, he's pretty, uh, pretty violent, so we're going to take a look and see what we got. All right, he's being arrested for DUI. He uh, didn't like that very much. He started fighting on the way to jail. He took his lighter out, started lighting the uh, seatbelt. I got about halfway burnt. He started fighting, kicking officers, kicking myself, and then was able to slip out one of his handcuffs, and I was fighting some more. Uh, let me go talk to him. How you doing? Other than being hit in the face and then slammed around, I'm fine. Do you know where you're at? Yeah, I do. Where are you at? I'm actually sitting in a jail, so. When's the last time you uh, drank or smoked some crack or anything like that? You stupid All right, uh, you're a little out of sorts here, OK? No, I had a couple of drinks, but an hour and a half. You don't got to get insulted. No, 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 no. You're talking about drink or crack, you dumbass. No, I'm going right. to tell you what. It's clear what's happening here. Uh, restraint chair, you don't want you to get that ass on me. No, back it up. I was like, stop resisting, sir. Might as well relax. You're not touching. You're not touching. At all. Yeah, we can scream in there. Yeah, that's fine. Under Nevada revised statute, you're required to submit to a blood sample for purpose of collecting evidence and or medical testing in relation to the charges that you've been arrested for. I refuse. And I say they cannot touch me. Just go for it. No, we're going to loosen up the right arm. So. No, no, no. Or the no, left. No, He's got room no, on the left. No, I swear to God, I will hit somebody. Left one. I just get your out of the way. Shit, stop resisting. It's going to be done, so why, why fight it? No! Get the fuck out of here. That's it. We're good. No. So what is Paul being charged with? Paul is being charged with DUI, failure to use signal, no proof of insurance, open container and vehicle, battery on officer, and tampering or injuring a police vehicle. Uh, I'll make various contacts with him. He's really upset. Okay, I'm going to go down here and talk to Paul. It's been uh, several hours. Uh, he's been segregated, and uh, I'll see where his mind's at. OK, so I have one felony. One gross misdemeanor, gross misdemeanors. So what do you think I'll probably do, like, straight time on this? Yeah, it's hard to say, you know. Are you on parole? Nope. Okay. I've been off for three years. Oh, OK, so you clean that up. That's good. That's a good thing. That's the first thing I've been in trouble on, you know, for three years. That's good. These are not the crime of the century. No, uh, oh, no, it's what? I'm looking at maybe, what, 18 months or something like that? No. No. Well, the fellow Not probably. here. Not here. I'm, I'm really happy to see that you've come down. I'm going to have the officer take you out, let you finish up booking. All right, you did good. OK, I, uh, I determined Paul's ready to come and uh, finish out the booking process. And he's seen the error in his ways. I think he'll be manageable. And if not, if he decides to shift the other way, we'll address it. I started out in the military, did 20 years there. Basically, I joined here because it was the same type of brotherhood, same type of feeling that you were looking for. There's a lot of leadership traits, a lot of honor, courage, core commitment, you know, just people that you could really depend on and count on as you're going through your day-to-day -day paces. Do you have anything on you I need to know about? Anything on the cut poker No, sir. Up? Wait until I finish the question, please. No, no sir. sir. OK. Once again. I'm not really into that. Thank you, though. So what do we got tonight? He was peeing next to Selva Grill on Main Street, peeing on a, on a table. A lot of people were eating dinner. Yeah. Dinner and a show. Dinner and a show. That's right. <laughs> All right, sir. Stepping right in here to the left. Going to your left, sir. Left. Have a seat right here for me, sir. No, you no, do? no. You're being arrested, yes, sir. For what? Because you urinated on a table while people were eating. No. Ah, uh, what else? Yeah, we kind of frown upon that. 
Now I'm gonna have to fight this one. You know this, right? Well, that's what court's for, sir. I'll what I this. need you to do right now is go ahead and take off your shoes and your socks for me. And I piss where? You pissed on a table while people were eating. No, no, I did not do that unless you have documented information on that. Take off the shoes or else I'm gonna assist you, keep sir. Keep this. Paul. Make sure you keep this. I'm gonna shoes. ask you one more time. You abuse me in America. That's a cracker right there. We appreciate you not using racial terminology, sir. Yeah. Deep South, crackers. White man can say it too. What's this key to, sir? At your mother's house. Really? Your mother sucked me thick. I'm sure your mother would be very proud to hear you speak like that. Mother loves me. Go ahead and stand up. We're going to step right, right in here, sir. Going right over here. Put your arms down. Put your hands down by your side. Now what? How we do it? Soldier, baby. You don't know anything about the military, sir? Oh, yes, I do. Really? What branch of service were you in? What do you mean? Exactly. OK, take the shorts off. They got too much metal on them. Yes, Put the will. pants on, sir. Step out here. Where's your mom? My mom's probably at home right now, sir. OK, yeah. we're going to step right over here. Going right over to this gray panel on the wall. Gray panel on the wall. Right up on the wall. There we go. Put your back against the wall, Paul. Doing good. Doing good. You know this? You're a crack. I'm an American You're citizen. You're a crack. Deep South. You don't like Italian. I'm Italian. My last name's Italian. That's why I don't like me. You got any tattoos, sir? No, give me no. Pull up the sleeve for me, sir. Go ahead, pull up the sleeve. I'm asking you nicely. You're a crack. OK. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. If you want to be silly like that, there's only so much I'm willing to take. Don't tense up on me, oh, sir. Not for silly. Sir, oh, sir. Yeah. Nice. Right, right here nice for video me. Nice video nice. There we so go. So nice, so nice video nice. Watch your steps. I'm trying to spin around there, Chief. Stay. We'll try a little bit later. OK, Paul's been in here for a little while. He seems to sober up a little bit. So we're going to check and see if we can finish this process. OK, just have a seat for a second. I got to ask you a couple more questions, Paul. I live right around the corner. I'm not damn close. OK, so you're from here? Yeah, I live around the corner. Now, do you remember why you're in here tonight? Uh, the only in talks. Do you but you I remember? would rather see the judge and have this uh, be time served if I could stay to the morning. Well, OK, we, we were talking we were talking earlier wow. about your court date, OK? You know what I mean? I, I don't get paid that much. I'm not a gigolo, you know? OK. Now, do you remember what happened, what transcribed the brachi here? I told the people, I laugh, I joke. It is what it is. So you don't remember urinating on the table or anything like that? I didn't urinate on the table. I'd be different charge. Now, would it? At this point in time, we've got to finish fingerprinting you, OK? You going to cooperate while we do that? Hold up, hold up. You remember Still. doing that? We going to play nice? I, I, need a, me or no? I need a yes or a no, sir. Are, are you going to follow instructions? Yes. Outstanding. OK, give us one second. Nazis, eh? Uh, ain't got nothing that we ain't got to call yeah. All right, come on, step out here for me, Paul. I'm a tiny driver. Rick, step right over here for me. OK, this says you're from Parrish, not from Sarasota. So why'd you tell me you're from Sarasota? Well, Phil, originally, I mean, you know, we didn't go to high school together, so. That, that would be true, yeah. because, uh... Because you would have had the broomstick out of your ass a long time ago. Outstanding. Now, do you think you were mistreated while you came in here? Is that why you started with all the, the racial slurs and such? Oh, the cracker thing. She didn't take it to, uh... You shouldn't take it to base. Well, you know, I got a name. You got a name. All right, step right over here. We're going to go over here, and we're going to sit you down with SPR right now. All right. You got to answer your questions. You can't be rude oh, yeah. or anything like that. You understand that? Yeah. Have a seat right here for me, sir. All right, Sergeant. Hopefully, we can get him through this portion here. OK. So he is bondable? He's bondable. He's got a bond of $120, but he still seems like he's a little bit intoxicated. All right. What, what's the problem? Stand up for whoa, me. Whoa, whoa. Stand up. you be in room. OK, strike that, Sergeant. He's not cooperating. He's being Give me a C, a bouncy C. Girl, a nice person. I'm playing the piano. Give me a C. All right. A bouncy C. Now, Paul, we tried this. I've explained to you. Sit. Sit. Hey. I want to get you someplace. Sit. I want to get you someplace you can lay down or you can bond out. You don't lay hands on anybody in this facility. 
You don't I talk trash? Then, no, way, stop. Now listen. Stop. No, let, let me no, 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 stuff, no, no, no. Right? You've called me every like racial this, name in the book. Like that, and she got D's, all right? And uh, I said, hey, give me right. a D. You're, You're just a rude yeah, individual, yeah. sir. You need to sober up. So you're going to be right. spending the rest of the evening in here. Have a good night. Bye-bye now. Thanks for your support. Well, so apparently he was making unwanted advances, so he's going to have to spend some more time in there and try and sober up a little bit more. OK. He'll just have to learn how to cooperate. It'll take him a little while. He's done. He could sleep there another few hours. Yeah. How'd you end up in your underwear? I was dancing, man. Dancing? Yeah. I was dancing at my house with my shirt off and my hat on. All right. Then I was like, OK, I'm going to take a walk, listen to some tunes. All right. And basically, danced out of your clothes. Yeah, Same danced page. out of my clothes. Yes, I did. I was listening to Lady Gaga, actually. We're going to let you borrow some of our clothes. OK. Have a, have a seat, sir. I'm all right with that. Um, I can't wear my hat? No, I'm going to give you clothes, though. OK, Very that's good. fine. I'm OK with that. On. Okay. And you just caught the right song and decided to. Caught the right to... song. It just got in my got in my groove, man. That was simple. That's it. As simple as that. I got you. Okay. Um, not only was it something I needed to do, it's something I'd do any at any time, any day, to make it happen again. It's All right. Gonna be Sit down so we can get you rolling. How'd you end up here? I was in, I was I was getting in front of traffic, in front of cars, mm -hmm. dancing a little bit. I was flipping a few people off. Oh. I needed to to break loose for a little bit. I needed to release myself from this reality that I'm in. Okay. Oh, no problems, no trouble. Okay. That's what I told them. Right. That's that's what I'm all about. I'm about people having a good experience, but at the same time, time runs out. You know. And now you're here. Yeah. And you got my clothes on. I, I love it. I love to dance. Nothing wrong with that. All right, do me a favor. Stand up, face that way. Yes, Hands sir. across your chest so I can get you rolling, OK? I got no Lady Gaga with me, but do you have any moves left over you can knock out? What's that? Do you have any moves? Something simple? Uh, you're on it, man. Yeah. Just grooving, man. Just grooving? Just grooving. You're okay. going to go out here, Stuart. Go have a seat right there. Don't be dancing around. Wait for medical to call you up, all right? Listen to your name, Stuart. All right, man. How you doing? You're on your bottom, bro. Can you tell me how he ended up here in his underwear and hat? Uh, earlier today, he was standing in his underwear at Sahara and Lindell. They legal 2,000 him. He went to UMC, which they released him. He then walked over to the CVS, was creating a disturbance there. So we arrested him for the prior charge of pedestrian in the roadway. Uh, oh. uh, I told you, man, you gotta, 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 gotta be effective, man. Get up. OK, all right, I'm up. Come on, come against the wall. Look, OK. Why are you spitting? Do you spit at your house, Stuart? Yes, I do. You do? You just spit on your walls? No, I spit in the toilet. I'll be reasonable. Come on, Stuart, walk. Always, always, man. We don't appreciate you spitting on the walls, okay, Stuart. I won't spit anymore, but you need to be reasonable with me. You're not talking to me. OK, what are we doing now? Stuart, you're going to sit back in this chair. Make sit it back. good this time. Sit back. Ah. Keep your feet flat on the ground, Stuart. Mm -hmm. Keep your feet on the ground. Mm -hmm. You got that foot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Clear. All right. Simple as that. See that? That's the truth, guys. Still, you're putting this on so you don't spit. Okay. Keep this mask on. It's going to stay on, OK? Well, it's not like I can remove it. We don't know what you got. I don't have anything, man. Originally, he came, he was in his underwear, he was dancing around. He seemed like he was a little bit out of it on something. He's decided to spit on the wall. They put him in a chair. He's been in there for two hours. Hopefully, he can handle out here. Otherwise, he's going back in a chair. All right. Well, we'll I'm just see how he reacts. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, what's up? What's going on, friend? OK, I, I've i always had nerves. OK, I like to pace. OK, it's not that I'm trying to get away from you or anything. I, I need to pace. I need so I can focus, so I can keep my cool. The rules are, whenever you need to get up, raise your hand. OK, either you sit down, get up to use the restroom, and then come back. All right? That's not working for me. It's not going to work? No, it isn't. OK, then we can put you in a, a side cell where you can sit down and stand up all you want. That sounds like a perfect idea. Good. Let's do that right now. You want to do that right now? Yes, I want to do that right now. He wants to do his own rules. Give me a favor to stand right there face off. Was there a place for him? Yeah, TR9. TR9? All right, thank you. 
So okay. apparently you're not going to make it out here, okay? okay yeah. She can't follow directions like everybody else. I like to sell, man. I need to sell. Yeah, you're going to make her stay here longer. That's fine. I can stay here for two years. I don't get it. Sights up? Yeah. Uh, I think we'll put them forward. Four. Yeah. You can go all the way in, okay? All the way to that wall. Yeah, I can do that. All right, I appreciate your help, guys. We'll talk to you in a little bit, Stuart. I explained the rules to him again, and he told me that he'd rather be in a cell. Simple as that. Good enough. We'll give him a chance. We'll stick him in there for a little cooling off period. Check on him in a bit. All right. Sounds good. How you feeling, Stuart? I feel good, man. A lot better? Yeah, I feel really good. All right. This one's dinner, man. It's coming. It's breakfast. Oh, breakfast. It's on its way, all right? OK. All right, Stuart. Love you, man. You be good. I will. All right, buddy. Every once in a while, we'll get someone like Stuart that comes in, doing something silly, ended up here. We'll get him through the process as long as he acts right. We just got a page saying that there's a Code 5 coming in. Uh, he's been fighting with patrol officers out on the street. Who you got here? I have Christopher. The original call was that he was sitting outside the, of a business making threats saying, kill me. He is intoxicated, and he was being aggressive towards officers. OK. How you doing? I've been better. I'm a recovering alcoholic. I'm a good man. All right, listen up. Um, we're going to walk you in there. You don't settle down, you're in, you're in that chair, OK? OK, thank you. All right. Will you please be gentle with me? We will be gentle with you, sir. OK. OK. We are going to try to walk him in. OK, let's start walking, sir. I'm a good man, and this is wrong. My daughter will tell you how good I am. Do you understand what I'm saying to you, young no, man? I, I believe you. I don't want no trouble. All right, going to turn to your left, stand right there, spread your feet apart. I have five kids that love me. You need to remain calm, OK? All right? Sir, I'm not a criminal, man. What have I done? He's not going to make it. We're going to have to put him in a strange chair. I think you're going to kill me. We're not going to kill you. He's going to be a blood draw anyhow. And he might give us problems then, so it might as well just put him in the chair now and sit. What have I done to deserve this? You haven't followed any directions yet. I hope you die in hell. He's, he's just too too up and down right now, too intoxicated. Leave him in the restraint chair for a little while, give him a little cool down period. Do you have any health problems, too? Yes. What do you have? I'm f stupid. Any other health problems? No. No? Do you drink or use recreational yeah. drugs at all? No, but I think that'd be a good idea. Suicidal, do you want to hurt or kill yourself? No, I have five kids that love me. God damn it! We're good. No, god damn it. In the car when I spoke to him, he said he's a recovering alcoholic. He has been drinking, so I'm going to have to wait and we'll take a blood draw and go from there. He just started spitting on the floor now, so we're going to put a mask on so he doesn't spit on anybody. Hey, bro, I don't think this is necessary, but you know what? I'm cool with it. Make an effort. Make an effort. I bet you can't even get out your pants. I'll wait. I'm going to stick my right here right now. Go ahead. I'm going to stick my I'm going to kill you. I know I, I pretty much think you're not going to beat me up. Shut up, bitch. No. Kill you. I think I want to do heroin. Be quiet for a minute. Okay. There's some important stuff to talk to you about, OK? OK. When you get a blood draw on you. OK. We have a search warrant signed by uh, Judge Olympus. We ask that you cooperate. I don't no, want to I'm do good. that. OK, sir. Thank you. Please make it hurt as bad as, as, bad as you can. Just stab me. You're going to kill me, huh? No, sir. Oh, no. Just procedure. Oh, that's all good. That's all you got? For now. I think he's calmed down some, but he's got another blood draw in an hour. And he comes out of the chair in another 20 minutes. We're probably going to try him out in uh, pre-arrest. So we'll just see how it goes. You are the stupidest man I've ever met. Stupid. All right, just have a seat right there. They go in. OK. Thanks. OK. All right. Hey, man, you're a good officer, and I love you. Thank oh, you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. He's starting to relax a little bit, but he's still kind of on the edge, maybe going off. But uh, you know, now he's saying that he loves me, so uh, we'll see how far that goes. Hey, bro, what's up? 
What the f are you looking at? You want your ass beat? <laughs> you gonna do it? <laughs> yeah. What's up, my boy? Please, sit down. You want some, bro? Chris, sit. Relax. I'll smash your head, bro. Know that. Come here. Come here. OK. All you had to do hey, is calm down. Hey, no. You cannot follow directions. You have to go back in the chair. No, no, no. detention center in Las Vegas is very entertaining. I see people from all over the world. They come here on vacation and they think they have access to anything and that no rules apply to them. And that's just because we have the gambling, we have money, women, alcohol, and that combination is what gets them into trouble. Come on, ladies. Brian, what, what do you do? I'm a singer and I'm a drummer. What do you drummer. sing? Sing and drum. I sing about the survival and the hope of life. What kind of music? Like, I was always in like classic metal, you know? Classic. But my originals come out like something you hear on the Light 102 channel. He was singing some sick stuff in the car. You know, like. <laughs> you mean like classic? Standing in my shadow, and I'm dealing with when life is stealing me. We're living in a world of frown. Take these off. Keep singing them. Right now. Take your jacket. Right now! Very nice. Wow. Did you hear that? Get some backup vocals? Yeah. That's impressive, sir. Mm -hmm. Now! Go down the second row, sit in the last chair, and wait for medical to call you. Okay? Yeah, thanks, guys. No, thank, thank you. you, sir. I'm just standing over here singing songs, all right? What did you bring him in for? He's got a Nobel warrant for drugs. How'd you find him? He was uh, sitting at a rock. I was sitting at a rock uh, bar and they asked him to leave, so the bouncers called us up because he was refusing to leave. Okay. But uh, yeah, he, he knows the uh, bartender pretty well, he was saying. But, and he sang to you the whole way down here? Yeah, the whole way, and then I, I had to ask him to stop so he could save his voice and serenade the uh, people at CCDC. Totally appreciate that. Thank Thanks. you. <laughs> I smoked the best pot you're ever going to smoke in your life a couple, couple hours ago. You know, just a little shot, just a little shot of THC, just a little shot of THC, boom, boom, just a little shot of THC, boom, boom. Oh, oh! Come on, rock star, let's go. Do you, do you have a, a song to fit this situation right now? <sighs> Express yourself. What do you feel like in song right now? What do I feel like in song right in now? In song. Jimmy Rock's going down, 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 down. In a ring of fire. <laughs> but the only thing that I'm worried about uh, is if I'm doing this at like 50 years old, you know? If I never got that record deal. That's what I'm worried How about. How old are you now? 38. You got plenty of time. You're going to get that record deal. Come on. Let's go back. But Metro. What about Metro? Metro's got mad love for Jimmy Rock, though, don't they? Have a seat. Sammy. Time to relax. All right, you gonna be okay for a minute? Yeah, I'm just thinking of um, my um, my next number one hit. Because this is all just temporary, you know? Absolutely, do you write? I write. You gotta hear my songs, they I wrote a country hit. You don't sing country. Yeah, I did. Everywhere we go, we got our job site, radio. Huh? Keep going. You like that? I'm feeling it, but keep going. Come on. Well, we come back from the weekend, and things were slow, but all we heard was that job side radio. It's a mega hit. Wouldn't Big and Rich and um, Toby Keith buy that song? I could totally picture them singing Job site radio? Yeah, job site radio. Everywhere we go, we got our job site radio. That's cool. You're very creative. I am. Yeah. Keep singing. I'll be right back. Hi, James. James. Hey, James. Mark. Just shine, I call out and get you out of there. Mark. Mark. Hi, how are you? Jim? Vietnam. Turning. Awesome, you rock. Can you spread your feet for me, please? That's because you're amazing. Spread your feet. You ever think sharp on anything that could cut me, make me cry? Okay. I appreciate knowing that, sir. I ain't doing nothing. You're a funny guy. Officer Clark, he's very touchy, Billy. Look at, see this officer right there? You see that officer right there? That's Officer Leha. Can you sing for her? A ballad. I'm going to tell you one more. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's a 
Yeah. Rock Star. Yeah, the Rock Stars. This is Inmate Karaoke. You're next. Think of the song you're going to well, sing. No, I don't want to make karaoke. I don't think yeah! Okay, those are some awesome vocals, sir. Maybe you should listen to him more. How does that not make you happy? No, I don't want to bother you. Thank you. I appreciate it, sir. You're awesome. No, because you're in control of your little law. I can't say the real thing. You, you're like, uh, come on. See what I'm saying? There's your buddy. I'm Go with your buddy. Beat now. <laughs> He's not going to hurt you. He's a big teddy bear. Let's go. Wait, wait. Let me get you out of these chains, all right? But they tell me I'm, you know, I'm delusional and, you know. No. What is your story? My story is um, I come across the country all by myself, you know, to try to achieve my rock and roll dreams because I got so much pain. I got pain. I, I can see you know? the pain. I went to Florida in 03. Can I top your head, sir? Because I was stabbed eight times in my chest. Oh, let me Wait. see that stab wound again. Oh, you got your ear now? Where, where's that stab wound at? Have a seat, Sorry, Deloach. Um, right here. Well, I okay, listen to the officer and then we'll eight talk. Eight times, you know? Okay, listen to the officer real quick. Go ahead. Thank you. What were you doing tonight to get you brought in here? I went to Jackson's bar, and I was just looking for this guitar player, and one of the bar bouncers decided that he was going to check my ID and everything, and so I wouldn't leave. I guess the bartender actually called Metro, because they, they can't handle a true star like me. They can't handle a New York, Baltimore, True rock and roll wild heart like me. Oh! Oh! Okay. All right, no, ready, ready to property. sign us so we can get you rolling. I must keep my dreams alive because there's too many people telling me to shut up. And we're not telling you shut up because we really like your music and all, but you know in the next room, you can't be uh, as loud as you were in the front room, okay? No, you got a fence on, right? Yeah, that's why it's I'm here, right? Thing. Yeah. Okay, you're going to sit on Thanks, the left-hand side. Don't speak with the women. Raise it's a crazy hand. night. I get some entertainment, but this has probably been the best stuff I've seen in a long time. Hopefully officers out here appreciate his music as much as we did out for your rest. Working pre arrest, I actually get to know some people. I've seen people that come in at the worst points of their life, and I've got ones that come in that start off really, you know, just over something really stupid and then turn into things like drugs or other things, and I just see them slowly deteriorating every time they come in. Okay, I'm gonna do a pat search on you. Spread your feet, ma'am. Face that wall, ma'am. Hold still. No, no. What do you mean? Spread what do you your mean? feet. Relax, relax. Okay, listen to me, listen to me. Turn and face this way. Turn and face this way. Don't get all crazy. Don't get all crazy. Okay, relax. Why are you? <laughs> what is going on with you? Nothing. Will you? Nothing like getting hair in the face. Ma'am, we good? Let's try this again. We're not good? We're not good? Leave her in cuffs and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Jeez. Help that bitch. No, we're not. We called a bitch a lot tonight. Stop, stop. All right, come on. Let's go see medical. My arm hurts, let. Well, if you just hold still. Stand right here. Don't sit down. Uh, hold still. Did you use any kind of drugs tonight? Nope. No drugs? Not for two days. No. What did you used to use? What I used to use? Two days ago. What are you talking about? You said you did drugs two days ago. I never did drugs my whole life. You haven't done anything for two days, you said? Not for me. Night you? Stop, stop, stop. We're done here. Let's go. We'll get a comfortable chair for you, ma'am. You need to relax. Right here, ma'am. There you go. Okay. What was my charge? Looks like she was under influence of either alcohol or drugs or something. Yeah. Have some time to sit down and think about what you did. You can't do that, sir. Stand up. We're going to talk for a second, OK? You can't be Be quiet. I have a huge problem with you in here, OK? You are too loud for my room. Do you hear anybody else screaming except for that lady that just came in? Because you two are fitting off of each other. So when, where are you going? Where are you going? What are you doing? That's not working. What was she doing? She had a problem. She's screaming at everybody, yelling at everybody, and then she just tried to fight us. Why are you screaming at Get off my chair, right. ma'am. Go and escort by the elbows. 
Relax, Julia. Stop tensing up. No! Do not tense up. You Relax tell me your what hand. To do, man. Relax your hand. What Relax do you do? Relax your hand. Stop it. Who's going to make me? We are. I don't give a crap anymore, ma'am. I don't either. It's too bad. Whatever. I've got, I've got people in high places. Put your hand up on the wall. Hi. Very good. Maybe we'll give her an opportunity to cool down and we'll have a doctor come take a look at her. Lisa? Yeah? If we take you out of the chair, are you going to behave? Yes. Listen to the officers? Yeah. Okay. What's my charge? It's trespassing. What do you mean trespassing? What's the charge? That's what the cops said when they brought you in. What they say, but would you see the paperwork? It says trespassing. What? Did I, I sign so. something that I said I trespassed? Why are you yelling? You We're right it. here. I'm not yelling. That's a lie, though. Okay. No, we have to move her upstairs, did you say? Because okay. I don't believe she's going to cooperate if we did. I don't think so either. Okay, come on. We're going to get you upstairs now. She's so unpredictable and erratic in her behavior that she'd be better off in 2C, which is isolation. So we're going to come in here, uh, take her out of her chair, give her some clothes, and then uh, she'll be seen with a psych doctor tomorrow. Peggy was placed in a side cell due to her behavior out in pre-arrest. It's been a couple of hours. I'm hoping that she's been able to sober up just a little bit in order to talk to me, but we'll see how it goes. Peggy, why don't you tell me what happened? I I had an issue with that Alex guy. Who's Alex? The one that called the cops. He's from Cuba. They're all speaking Spanish, and I have an issue about people that live in our country that do not speak English. OK, so what happened tonight? He drank two bottles of wine earlier, is no, what you I told didn't. them. Nope. So you haven't drank at all tonight? Yeah. How much? What? I had two glasses of wine with my girlfriend. Oh, OK. And things got her more. They poured my wine out. They had, they had a all right, the bottle Two cap. bottles. That's what I'm saying. One is full. Oh, OK. The other one is half full. We, we, That's we not drank. a lot. And then the cop that was there, he took it. And he dumped it. It was good he did that. It got, you, it got you in trouble tonight. You don't handle alcohol very well. You don't handle life very well, do you, bitch? Are you yelling at me? Yes. Well, then I can't talk to you if you yell at then me. Then don't talk to me anymore. Keep me here forever. No, not so much. I don't care. Keep me here. Oh, oh. Oh. All right. Thanks for the good talk. Good talk. Oh, it's just amazing how what people can be when they're under the influence of alcohol. And I bet you tomorrow I'll go talk to her. She'll be totally different, and she'll actually carry a normal conversation with me. But for right now, she's very up. She's very down. She's nice. She's mean. She's happy. She's mad. So and until she can calm down, it's just pointless. <laughs> I was originally born in California, but I went to high school out here. Uh, I was a military brat. I've been at the Clark County Detention Center for 20 years. 11 of those years, I've been a sergeant. Uh, my mom, she used to be a corrections officer, so I thought it would be a great field for me to get into. And you never know what you're going to walk into every day. We Looks like they're having trouble with that guy. You're going to wait for somebody else. She has to pull it out, and she can't do that while she's got someone seat. else's property out there, right? She's working. Yeah, you guys. What? You guys promised me you inventory the goods. We inventory my goods. I want to see my $7,000 ticket. Right, right. All right, just come around and just see here. Come on. No, we're not checking it. We're done. All you had to do is listen and go with the program. You guys promised me to return my goods. Sir, we didn't say we do right this split second. We're working on somebody else's property. Look them up a little bit. Listen, here's the thing. Your property is like right here at this window, okay? I'm being, I'm being cool with you, right? I'm right? being cool too, but you know what? No, you're not. The guys sir. who brought me in here promised me I was cool the whole entire time. Okay. Okay, I got a seven thousand dollars sports book ticket. Okay. All right. And they said they had it, they were inventory my goods. That was the thing that was missing. 
So just, all you have to do is show me my $7,000 ticket. Sir, and what, what did we tell you? All I'm asking is, is show me my $7,000 damn ticket. OK, here's the thing. We were not out there when you got arrested. God, funny, man. I'm just, I'm, I'm being honest with you, OK? We were not out there when you got arrested. I, 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 I know, know, I know I'm just, where your ticket they is. They promised me they were inventory my goods. I had sportsbook tickets. I quit playing. I this is my first day back in Vegas three months. OK. All right, I'm a sportsbook player. I came in, I played. All right, I, I had $7,000 ticket in here. Okay, so all you have to do, please, all I have to do is show me the ticket and I'm cool. Okay. Why are you so, got in my hand like that? So here's the thing. If we I'm don't have it, if that. we don't even have that ticket in our possession, I'm, I'm just letting you just know. Just show me the ticket. Well, it's inside my gas. Come on. Where's it inside I'm, of? Oh where's it inside gosh. of? Gosh. It's inside of what? God, funny. it. Where's, where's it at? Ah! I was trying to help you out. I was trying to help you out. Come here. Damn, one, bro. Stop scrolling. Stop scrolling. Stop scrolling. Stop resisting, sir. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Just show me my inventory. We told you we were going to do yeah, that, I'm but you're going to do that. You don't want to listen. That's your problem. Okay? Miss, right. inventory my goods is all I'm asking. If you tell me where it is, I can go look right, right now for you. Took a, it was in between the electricity mm -hmm. bill. That's the all I'm asking. Bill? OK, all right, thank you. That's why you had to say the first time. It's right here. Boom. See, there you go. Okay. Get the f*** out of my throat. You see that? You're choking me. You're choking me. Get out of my throat. Luda, you see this, Luda? This is your ticket, correct? Well, hi, hi, with it. Show me 15 minutes ago. Listen, listen to me. We didn't know exactly where it was at. Are you going to be calm? Because I've got to be more calm. Well, I got those down, priors. And as soon as we calm down, as soon as we calm down, Okay, you have to loosen up these cups or what? Uh, he's upset about his uh, gambling card. I guess he didn't get he didn't get a chance to actually actually see it. Yeah, he had a sports bet ticket from a college football team, and uh, said it was seven thousand dollars. So he was really concerned about it. Uh, we brought it in with his property, so I don't even know why he got so crazy. So what was the uh, guy charged with? Uh, from what I would understand, he was at the Cromwell and uh, allegedly um, may, have, may have grabbed uh, the rear behind of a female. And so uh, we ended up arresting him, bringing him for that. He didn't like the way the program was being run, and uh, that's the way it goes sometimes. <laughs> Watch your back. Okay, so what's going on? Were you able to get a hold of the at all? Yeah, they're on their way. Well, what's going on with you Some girl claimed I touched her butt, and that's it. Why would I touch her butt? I had 20 other girls at the table. Uh-huh. Uh, some girl probably got a feeling shirt because I kicked her out of the table. Oh, OK. So they went right. running into security, and you know, right from there, I do private security, so I got big clients. Oh, OK, well, that's cool. What was the significance of that ticket that you were upset about earlier? <laughs> having a good run, having a good run of seizures. So really? this ticket was important. $7,000 okay. ticket. Wow. To win 13500 So when you got the inventory. That much, huh? Wow. So when you got the inventory, it, it wasn't on the inventory sheet. Oh, OK, OK, OK. Then when I asked for it, right. nobody knew where it was at. OK. It is what it is. It happens. Yeah. I understand the word. Well, good luck to you. All right, thank you. He doesn't know the outcome of the game, and he said he'd rather wait until later. So that's just the life of gambling in the city of Vegas. Uh, I got a call for a Code 5. They didn't say whether he was combative or not. They just said uh, male Code 5. He's pulling it right now. And we'll see how he's acting in the back of the car. How you doing, buddy? Not too good. I can see that, man. It's not cool, man. You know where you're at, man, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm in a place where I don't need to be for no apparent reason. So my guys pull you out, you want to be cool with them? You would have a very cooperative person. That's cool. That's all we ask. Just slide him out that way. Let's you know, slide those sandals those, on right there. For being hungry, <laughs> this is what happens for being hungry. You happy? Anyone know why? I can find out. I think one of the things they did tell me was resistance and obstruction. Do you have a last name we can tell you, my man? Uh, right now, I got nothing. So I find out what I'm out here for, 
exactly what did I do wrong besides being hungry. They don't tell you guys something. Other than that, I have no reason to be in these handcuffs. So what was the deal with that kid? He's running inside the fat burger, in and out of the bathroom, acting kind of weird. The SAT team guys go out on him. Uh, he locks the bathroom door and he's looking through the window, kind of taunting them. They come get me, I'm not gonna come out. Uh, they get the door open, they step outside when you can see ID. As soon as they go to grab him, he just went nuts. And then, he, of course, he started telling everybody out there to fight the police. The smell of weed on him when we first engaged him down there, so I'm sure he's either smoking it or he was selling it. And then when he went in the bathroom, he flushed it. Yeah, he got rid of it before he finally opened the door and let us in. So. See why he got brought down here. This man is not cooperating at all. We have no ID on him, no name. We have no idea who he is. So he's not letting us do our jobs at all. So he's just trying to make it difficult. You cannot do this. This is against the law. You are here and you're going outside. This is against the law. As soon as we find out who he is, they won't know. You know, he's got priors for dope or something like that. Cross your feet. Stay like that until the door closes. Can I hear like my fingers now? Stay off of that door. He's just up and down, so he can stay in the side cell and relax for a little bit, and then we'll go from there. Hey, I asked for him to be told why. And I, you, did you ever give me a chance to go find out? I told you I would be back and, and find out. Find out and let me know. Like I said, you have to work with me for me to work with you, right? Didn't I tell you that? I have been denied information. Are we going to pull him out? Oh, can you hear me? Yeah, he can. Hey, before we even talk, we need to know your name. I need an answer to know who you I, I are. Never, you guys stopped by the police. For they, for doing nothing. Regardless of what you think it is or nothing, to us it's suspicious. So when we stop and talk, the officer comes up behind me and starts harassing me for no apparent reason. Uh, you know everything in Fat Burger is videotape, right? Yes. Okay, so you 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 think for one minute we don't look at you going in and out of Please the bathroom? Please look at the cameras. We already have. As a matter of fact, since you said that, we already have. No, you haven't. Because if you looked at that camera, take me to the surveillance room. OK, we're done. Take me to the conference room. Have a nice one, man. Where you interrogate Let's go. me. Let's go on for obstructing and resisting. We'll wait until this pit comes back. All right, I'm going to go try to talk to this John Doe in the uh, side cell. Maybe he's calmed down a little bit, and he'll decide to give us some information. All right, I'm going to go talk to some of the patrol officers. I'm sure somebody's had contact with them in the past. All right. Is that him? Yeah, it looks like him. He's got a bunch of warrants for uh, burglary, uh, battery, substantial bodily harm, uh, and battery by strangulation. Probably about sixty thousand dollars in warrants. Now so we know why he didn't want to get fingerprinted. Uh, he just came in for what obstructing? Yeah, just uh, yeah, this, obstructing. And this carries a, carries a little more weight than just obstructing. So yeah. all I did was go in the fat burgers. You weren't doing anything suspicious? Nothing else. Is that him? Wow. Hmm. Yeah, I would say so. That's you? Yes. That's you? What, what's, what you mean, does that mean? Is this you? Is it me? You tell me. You tell me. Last time you were in city jail? Yeah? You been in city jail before? Yeah. 2011? Right. All right, so I can pretty much call you Mr. OK, what my thing is, where did that come from? How did you get my name? There's a lot of officers that come in and out of this building that watched you make that spectacle out front. A lot of them recognize you. No, couldn't have been. We can go with then for last name? I want to know. Your name is better than a John Doe, because we can't release you as a John Doe. So now I know you'll at least be getting out of here, all right? No, I won't be getting out. Why? Because I have a warrant. You've got about $80,000 in warrants. That's quite a bit. But well, I can see why you didn't want to get pitted. We understand now, but we still got to get you through the process, man. We got to get it done, so. I mean, honestly, I was going to tell you guys. No, for real. <laughs> We put you in here because you weren't cooperating. Because if you cooperate, we'll take you out and get you to the process. I shouldn't even be here. But you know what? I'm kind of glad it happened. I can get it out of the warrant. I can get it out of the way now. My kid will be here in February. All right. You know, hopefully it's done. I don't even know what the warrant is for, really. 
So uh, no, I haven't done anything. When we get this inputted, you're going to get a copy of all your charges, and you'll know what all your warrants are for, OK? We're going to go drop it now, all right? Hey, word is born. I got right? you. I got you. We'll be back. I got you. All right. Usually when somebody doesn't want to be fingerprinted, uh, that tells us something. Something's up, so. Well, if I had $80,000 more, so I'd probably not want to be identified either. You been arrested before? Um, I got arrested here like once. Here in Vegas? Yeah. What'd you get arrested for today? Oh, What'd just for being, I don't know. Some stupid thing. I left my bag like 20 feet away from where I was. <laughs> what brought you out from Ohio? Uh, I'm trying to make it as an artist. What do you do? Paint? Some um, music? I make, I don't know, I make like, uh, I paint with pen and ink and uh, all kinds of You uh, sell your work on the street, on the strip? I try to do sometimes, but most of the time I'm just like sitting there like spinning my art out, you know, like kicking it. <laughs> do you make decent money on? I actually haven't made anything, man. I've been to like, been to like all the places around here and I haven't made crap yet. Uh -huh. I'm so like pissed off. It's retarded, dude. Ready? Let's get you out these handcuffs, man. Oh, yeah. Stand here, face that way, please. Hey, did you have a shirt when you got arrested? Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I took everything off. What did he do that constituted indecent exposure? Someone flagged me down saying that he was behind O'Reilly Auto Park naked. Went back there, he was naked. Like butt naked? Butt naked. What the hell was he up. doing? He said he was meditating, talking to the universe. Lewis, do you know what you got charged with? Uh, indecent exposure. Indecent exposure. Do you know yeah, why? I was naked, like, standing there meditating. Why? I don't know. I've never done it before. <laughs> there are people around? No. No, you're just no kind of doing your thing? Yeah. Well, somebody out. saw you because they called. Oh, really? Yeah, so, <laughs> so do me a favor. Keep your clothes on when you're in here, OK? OK. It freaks these guys out a little bit if you get naked. Yeah, no problem, man. All right, I appreciate it. No problem. Go ahead and take a seat in the first row. Okay. First row, Louie. All the way anywhere in the front row you want. If I could just keep him to keep his pants on while he's here, it'd be great. You can scoot over if you want. Poor guy. No, it's OK, buddy. I just, we can't have you running around. He's freaking people out. What's your name again? Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. You can right. see the resemblance. We can't have you walking around, OK? Right. Makes everybody crazy. As you can see, the uh, response. Mm. Keep your pants on in here, OK? I yeah. will for sure. Yeah, Thank we frown you. on yeah. we frown on that here. It's a family jail. Seriously. <laughs> Lewis, come here. No doubt, he likes bare more. Are those your shoes? All right, keep your pants up. I, you have to step low. Oh yeah, it's, you don't want to show things in here. Yeah. Stand in that red box. No, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Look that way, bud. Oh wow, that's a that's a picture. That's fine. Awesome, Kodak right. moment. So you are charged, Lewis. You are charged with indecent exposure. Okay. Right, no doubt. That's what you're charged with. <laughs> Can I just leave and come back? No. Oh, Wait, well, you want to reschedule your arrest for a better, yeah, like my more convenient, yeah. but more convenient time? <laughs> yeah, that would be nice if we could do that, but we can't. Keep your pants up. Okay. <laughs> no, seriously, they're creeping down, and I'm not gonna look. So you keep them up. Okay, go, go walk. Hey, and if if they offer you a shower later, you should take it. Okay. Well, hopefully he makes it out here. I'm He's not kinda... sure. He keeps putting his hands in his pants and letting them ride down. And... I'm going to let him have his own row. He did mention he wanted to reschedule his arrest. We'll see what happens. If I hear a bunch of yelling, I'll know it's him. OK. This is where we uh, temporarily house our inmates until they're uh, assigned housing upstairs and or released. So they're uh, given an opportunity to make their phone calls and bail out. So they'll spend usually about 24 hours down here. So this is a family jail. We don't curse. Can yeah, we stop cursing? Sorry. Have a seat right here. Have a seat. Um, hold on. Don't push me. I'm not pushing you. Yeah, you are. You're pulling me down. What the hell are you pulling me down for? Come on, sir. You want yeah. to take him? Yes, sir. Come on, yeah, don't spray yeah it. I did what? What did I do? I don't know. You just walked yeah, in the door. Yeah, you're exactly it. 
I ain't done a goddamn thing. Oh, only thing I done was said my wife hit me in the back. Sir, why and you all put us? me in here. Why are you yelling at us? Why you put me in here? Sir, have what a seat. Guess, guess what? what? Sir? My open wife open called you in sir. to me because I beat keep, her up. Keep your hands She's out, not sir. here. You're a Cowboys fan. Yes, I am. Cool. Been one all my life. We'll so now you're going to tie me up yes, sir. because of my prosthetic leg? No. no, sir, because everybody out there is uh, what you call tied up. What did I do? Turn around, sir. Did I say anything to anybody? Did I say anything to anybody? Did I create anybody's negativity? No, I didn't. They're locking me up for something my wife said to them. I'm a man that shouldn't be in here. Have you been drinking tonight, sir? I'm fine. All right, come on this way. What's that? Which come way is that? Ah, uh, why are we going this way? Because this is the way we go, sir. Line order begins in this room. Good. Guess what? Hey, how y'all doing? Why they got you on? How you doing? They got me on because uh, salt better than my wife oh, took me in. Y'all yeah. got something better than that? We're gonna get your blood pressure real quick, okay? Yeah, I'm sure mine's high because I'm pretty pissed off right now. Does that mean I'm on drugs? I didn't cause no crime. No. I have nothing. He's good. I don't even have problems of hurting myself. Never had one till y'all came along. Yeah, you smiling mother. I say Maurice has got a uh, prosthetic leg. He's drunk and he's belligerent, no, so I'm going to I'm gonna isolate him. Why are you hurting me? Why are you relax? No, I don't need to relax. Give me my right. I've been arrested for nothing. Let's start walking, guys. Junior's getting the camera. I can't leave him out here with everybody else. He's causing too much of a scene. I did nothing. What's the story with Maurice? Uh, basically, we got called up there for a domestic violence call. Uh, we showed up. Supposedly, he had battered his, his wife while we were there. We spoke to the wife, uh, and the daughter also witnessed the battery. As you saw, he's completely uh, intoxicated. Right. I think as we were driving to jail little by little, he uh, got more and more angry, and then got inside, and he wasn't cooperating at all. Did he tell you what happened to his leg? Uh, I guess he was in the Gulf War, uh, the, the first one, and I think he was an Army guy. And that's when he, he lost it during the, the first war. So that's all he kind of told me about it. Uh, that's too bad. I say I'll let him sober up a little bit. He's probably a different person. He was sober. completely he was completely fine with us initially. That's pretty much it. Well, thank you. Cool. You bet. All right, Sarge. How's this guy been? Has he been cool? He's just laying there. Maurice. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Can you get up? Got you, brother. Really? Oh, ow, 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 ow. You okay? Yeah. How you feeling, man? You all right? It's all right. Yeah, we'll take his chance. No, all I need to do is get home. I don't, I don't even care. All right. You been here before, Maurice? No, I haven't. Today, you're here for battery domestic violence. I never got in a fight with nobody. I don't do domestic. I'm sorry. I gave my time my, and, 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 and for my country, and then I turn around and get turned on because some uh, kid says something, and then she said it to her mom, and then it goes to her mom, and it goes to me, and I'm like, what the f The longest time the police want to pull some f on me. That's why I'm here today, for my ticket. There was an illegal U-turn. In 07, 06, Lionel on my ear for a ticket that maybe cost $25 to get a warrant after me, put me in jail. But they got to make a deal out of it. But my girlfriend is kind of psycho. Um, you do have a city warrant. That warrant must have been out of, was it City or Henderson or North Las Vegas? Well, whatever. Well, so what do we got to do? You've got a $3,000 bail. I'm not bailing out. Okay, then so you'll you'll be here for about a day and a half. That warrant will be taken care of now while you're here, so you won't have to worry about that popping up ever again. Okay. All right. I don't want no more bull. I want it all done. Yeah, we'll get it all taken care of. Right I want now. it all taken care of. Is there anything else I can do for no. you? No. All right, man. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, I appreciate you. Thank man. you. All right, Maurice. Thank you. Got a city warrant, yeah, he's got a city warrant. Bad DV, and he's got a warrant in the city. He's got to take care of once he gets out of here. Yeah, at least he'll get it all over with. Yeah. 
did talk about his uh, involvement in the war and how he acquired his leg injuries. I respect and appreciate what he's done. So um, the least I can do is help him through this process the best I can.